It's launch vector and countdown net. Pad is clear. N. Nine, eight, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for launch. Vehicle is supersonic. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Starlink launch webcast. My name is Zachary Lupin, and I'll be your host for today's Starlink mission, which marks SpaceX's 45th launch of the year and 244th overall mission to date. The Falcon 9 rocket, which you can kind of see on your screen through the marine layer, is currently at Vandenberg Space Force Base's Space Launch Complex 4 East in California, awaiting liftoff at 12.29 p.m. Pacific time. At T minus four minutes and 40 seconds, the weather is green and the range is ready to support. Teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or the spacecraft. Coming up shortly, we should see the clamp arms on the strong back opening up. Those clamp arms are located just below the payload fairing. And it might not be totally visible, visible because of that marine layer. The strong back or transporter erector is the truss structure next to the rocket that is used for rollout and a route propellants and electrical power to the vehicle in preparation for launch. And you can just make out the strong back retracting on your screen there. Now coming up next at T minus three minutes, we should hear that stage one has completed liquid oxygen loading. Stage one, lock load is complete. At T minus three minutes, the Falcon 9 first stage is fully loaded with rocket propellant one, or RP1, and liquid oxygen, or LOX, and we're awaiting completion of LOX load on the second stage in about 45 seconds from now. Now, aside from the marine layer, you may also see some white clouds around the vehicle. Those white clouds are chilled gas above the LOX tank liquid surface that we vent overboard to maintain pressure in the tank as needed. And when that gas comes out into the California air, the humid moist air condenses into clouds and water. Coming up shortly, we should hear a call out that LOX loading is complete on the second stage. The booster or first stage of the, of the rocket that you see on your screen is flying for its 12th time today. After liftoff, after liftoff and stage separation, this booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is currently stationed in the Pacific Ocean. As many stage of you may... Stage 2, lock slow is complete. And there's that call out that stage 2 lock loading is complete. Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. Now, as many of you may already know, successfully recovering parts of our rockets allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive pieces, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. Coming up in about 10 seconds from now, we should hear a call out that Falcon 9 is in startup, which means the flight computers have taken over the launch countdown.
Falcon 9 is in startup. And there's that call out that Falcon 9 is in startup. In a few seconds, we should hear our launch director, or LD, give the final go for launch. LD is go for launch. And there's that go from the launch director to proceed with today's mission. So let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 48 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. And lift off of Starlink five thirteen. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching down range. M1D chamber pressures are nominal. That's a fuel tank. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 4 East from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California at 1229 Pacific, PM Pacific time. Now the next major milestone coming up is Max Q, which is when the vehicle experiences the power and telemetry nominal. Which is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And there's that call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic, which means that the rocket is traveling faster than the speed of sound. We should hear that call out for Max Q shortly. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q, which again is when the rocket experiences the largest amount of external stresses. Now we are just about one minute away from a series of events, main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start one, and then lastly, fairing separation. Miko, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage shut down. That's followed by stage separation when the first and second stages separate. SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And lastly, fairing separation is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. So let's keep an eye out for those events, which will happen in quick succession. confirmed. And back ignition. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we had successful Miko, Stage Step, and SES-1. Fairing separation confirmed. And there's that confirmation of fairing separation from the second stage. We will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Go Beyond. Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven, with one half flying for its fourth time and the other half flying for its seventh time. On the left side of your screen right now is our Falcon 9 first stage, and on the right side is the MVAC engine on our second stage, currently carrying the Starlink satellites to orbit. 
Currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is located in the Pacific Ocean. The MVAC engine attached to the second stage is continuing its burn, which will last about another four and a half minutes. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory. And as I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 244th mission overall and the 45th mission just this year. Coming up next in the mission is the entry burn on the first stage, which is the first of two burns it will go through in preparation for landing. We should see that stage one entry burn start in just under a minute from now. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's that call out for the stage one entry burn, which you can see on the left side of your screen there. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory. Stage one, which we also call the booster, has ignited three engines to slow it down for atmospheric re entry. Stage one entry burn shut down. And there's that call out that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. Coming up next is the landing burn on the first stage, which is the second and final burn in preparation for landing. Stage one, FTS has saved. Stage one transonic. And there's that call out that the first stage is transonic, which means it is traveling near the speed of sound. Coming up in about 20 seconds from now, we should see the stage one landing burn start on the left side of your screen. Stage two in terminal guidance. Ooh, look at that. Stage one landing burn. And there's confirmation that the Stage 1 landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, in the Pacific Ocean. We should also hear that call out for SECO, or second engine cutoff, in Stage a few moments. Stage 2, FTS has saved. Stage 1 landing leg deploy. <laughs> Stage 1 landing confirmed. And if you can hear that cheering, everyone here at Hawthorne is very excited. This Falcon 9 first stage is now successfully launched and landed for its 12th time. 
We also heard that call out for Seco 1. Nominal orbit insertion. And there's confirmation of good orbit. Today's landing marks are 205th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And with confirmation of successful first stage landing and second engine cutoff and orbital insertion, that wraps up our coverage for now. So be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink satellite deployment. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.